Hey everyone, welcome back to Bravely Default. Last time, we went back to Stark Fort and dealt with Kamiyazumi, the Swordmaster and Adia's previous teacher, taking out all but one of the uh, Swordbearers and Black Blade commanders. And in traditional me fashion, I completely forgot to change someone over to the job I got. So it's switching Adia over to a Swordmaster. However, I'm not actually sure what I want her sub to be. Obviously, Sword Magic would be good, but. Hmm, I'm gonna maybe just sword magic and then I mean I guess it's not bad to have two sword magic users, but I guess I'd rather ring a bubble on something else. Like maybe I can put him back on night. Uh yeah, sure, let's go for that. And we can keep sub thief. Because we have some cool swords. Like how we have, we have flame tongue now, flame tongue's actually actually super helpful coming up. Um Sure, equip that. And otherwise, we should be fine. We might have to get you some new armor or something, and you could use Kotetsu. And a, we'll get you a shield later. For now, uh, actually, I don't know if we're going to be doing much fighting right now, but we'll, we'll go to Heart's Child and check out what we can get for you in a minute. Anyway, we're going to report to Commander Goodman today on the Awakening of the Fire Crystal. You did what? You went to the Temple of Fire? There was a way in through the Mithril Mine? Yes, we have awakened the fire crystal. That should quell Mount Karka's fury. That is excellent news. Thank you, Wind Vestal. We owe you and your companions our thanks. One thing. After we awaken the fire crystal, all the veins of ore in the mine disappear. I see. Oh, no need to look so dejected. This is actually good news for us. After all, the Mithril Warheads the Sword Bearers fired upon us were a source of great concern. This should change the course of the war. If we are lucky, it may end soon. Once the eruption of Mount Karka subsides, we will also work to restore the Temple of Fire as quickly as we can. I would appreciate that. The Fire Vestal should be given a proper funeral without delay. After all... We were only able to awaken the Fire Crystal through the help of Egil here, and the Fire Vestal. Is that so? Fine work, Egil. You have my thanks, too. <laughs> what will become of the Canary Boys, who were working in the mine? They were all without homes to go back to, so we will harbor them here in Heart's Child. The townspeople will see that they are cared for. I'm glad to hear that. You'll be seeing your friends again soon, Abel. Yeah. Well, you are all tired, I dare say. Please get some rest while you sojourn in Heart's Child. I don't really understand how Mithril being gone from the mine is a good thing for the uh, shield bearers. I mean, we recaptured the mine, right? We kicked the sword bearers out, so only we would be making use of the mithril now, right? And so the sword bearers would only would have all the mithril they would need. I, I guess it eliminates the possibility of them trying to take it back in the future, but still. Anyway, if the canary boys are being taken to Heart's Child to harbor them, might as well take Egil there and see if he'll stay. <sighs> What's the matter, Egil? I don't want to live in this town. What? Why not? I want to go with you! Huh? That's simply not... So, you wish to fight by our side, hmm? Oh, I can't do that. I don't know how to fight. But I still want to go with you. Please, take me with you. I'll do anything you ask. That just won't work. Even if you say no, I'm still going! Then we have a problem. Let's go to Commander Goodman's residence. Yeah, we'll just dump in there so we don't have to deal with him. I'm, I'm sure he won't care about that at all. Well, Winheart's Child, though, we should go and, uh, and see if we have... Uh, what the hell am I saying? See? Actually, mm, let's go check out the adventurer first, because they probably have some decent... Items we might be able to afford, possibly. None of these I really want. Large shield for Adia, though, would definitely be good. Otakalcum helm. 
Eh. <laughs> I'll just hold off. But we need a shield for a D at least. Okay. So, also. I hate to continuously delay things, but we can give it a spear lord and you can give you this, I suppose. And, yeah. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go to the Commander Goodman's residence, son. We've decided to take Aegle in. My husband has agreed that it would be best. You hear that, Aegle? That's great news! You couldn't wish for a better family than the Goodmans. <sighs> I hope that when you grow up, we'll see an age free from the ravages of war. I would hate to see you end up a soldier. I believe your husband has what it takes to make that happen. Thank you for your kind words. Well then, Aegle, you take care of yourself. We'll be back to check on you, so be on your best behavior. <clears throat> I will. Goodbye, everyone. Wary Airy. Talk about a shock when Eagle said he wanted to come with us. Although it's not like there weren't signs, too. You could see it in his face as far back as when Commander Goodman said they'd taken the boys. Hmm, I suppose, now that you mention it, hmm? Hey, is something wrong? You've been staring off behind us. Are you expecting something? The kid. Egil. Egil? What of him? There's no way he stayed put. I won't believe it and I won't be tricked! <laughs> Once bitten, twice shy, eh, Eri? Hmm, he did seem to take those orders from Eleanor awfully well, considering his usual tone. Exactly. Something is fishy here, and I refuse to be duped. You seem like you almost want him to show up. <laughs> she and Eagle have an epic rivalry going on by now. You can't fool me twice, brat. <laughs> uh, and he was, he was an ear distance of that, too, so I don't know why we were talking about that. Anyway, it's okay. You don't have to worry about me. Staying put for now, so... At least there's nothing to worry about, it seems. Let's just head out and see what happens. Oh. Actually nothing. Okay. Well, I guess we have to find a way into Eternia now. Uh, that's the only place... That's the only crystal left. It's the only place where there's a crystal left, so... Let's work on that. Apparently, to work on that, we go back to Grand Ship, I guess... Really, there is nowhere else we can go. The Eshelot can't fly, and even if it could, Eternia is covered in rocky, or craggy peaks, rather. So, it can't really fly high enough, even with a Skystone, to get over them. So, we really don't have many leads. Also, there's just this weird peninsula here, and I want to talk about this. This has nothing here, by the way. There's some enemies, but there's nothing unique there. While the world of Beyblade Fall is fairly big, there is, like, nothing in it, besides, of course, the main areas. And I think that's definitely a missed opportunity. The world of Lux and Dark and even the cities are fairly undeveloped and non-interesting. Like, if you look at Anchheim, you don't really see where people live. You assume people do, but you don't see housing or anything. Caldusa comes the closest to achieving that, but it's really still not well done. Like, I just wish you could see a residential area, even visit a residential area, instead of just, like, so, in, in Caldessa, you just visit the castle, but in the background, at least, you can see a couple buildings that, you know, you can assume people live there. And at least there's, you know, a port and everything. It feels more alive than any other town. With Anchime, it's just, here's, like, the King's Palace and the water place, and that's it. In, um, in Florm, it was just the shopping district and the stage, and that's it. In and, uh, you know what, Anchim, or not Anchim, uh, Eisenberg comes close because you get Heart's Child, that's where people live. It's still not very big, and you don't really have a ton of houses, but at least it makes a little bit more sense than the others. I don't mind the cities and world being concise, but I wish there was a little bit more life to it overall. Especially in the overworld, where there's like literally nothing to do outside of the main objectives, besides like one side quest we'll get to way later on. But, anyway... Back on Grand Ship, let's head into the uh, tavern and see if the proprietress can give us any hints. Also, apparently there's a flame charm we can find in here. Checking my notes. Um, but I have no clue where. Did we already get it? I don't think we got it already. Pretty sure we didn't. 
I'm just gonna run like an idiot until I find it. Nope, not. I didn't want to talk to you. Um, maybe, maybe not. Oh, wait, wait, no, nope, that was to talk to them. Maybe it's behind here. Okay, maybe I'm an idiot. Whatever. Oh, we're not talking to you. Who are we talking to then? This fan dude, why? Ah, it's a shame, really. Just a shame. Hmm? I'm loud. And irritating. Apologies. <laughs> Apologies. It's just a shame, is all. You see, the little link I does I use as my base of operations as well. It's going out of business. Seems the old innkeep finally succumbed. Poor man can't keep the end going. The innkeep in Caldesla, run by the man who was the father of Owen, who died. We should probably go check up on that after I sleep with the end, but I'm just going to see you back at Caldesla. We had a fairly strong relationship with the innkeep, so it's sad he didn't try and send us a letter or anything to tell us what's going on, but, well, if he's so sick, then I guess maybe he couldn't. Welcome! Huh? Uh, who are you? I'm a distant relative of the innkeep. He's too sick to get up and about, so I'm filling in for him. He's bedridden? Is it serious? Not at all. The doctor says he doesn't need to stay in bed, but... Well, you should see for yourself. Well... We'd better go see him then. Are you feeling okay? <sighs> He's having a nightmare. Owen. <sighs> I guess he's become despondent since Owen died. His son was everything to him. It must be hard to deal with it alone. What about that girl? She's related to him, right? She has to go back to her home soon, I hear. How do you know that? Uh, oh, it, it just came up. Uh, let's check my journal before things take a turn for the worse, hmm? We'll bring the orphan to the inn we set out from. That sounds relevant, no? Oh, this is the inn we set out from. And the orphan, I guess that means Ego? That's nonsense! Mrs. Goodman has given him a good home. Come to think of it, Eagle's parents were guards, just like Owen. He said he was raised by his kind grandfather after they died. But... It doesn't have to be permanent, just until the old man gets better. Do you think we could have Eagle stay here a while? I guess that's up to Eagle. Right. I mean, yeah, ultimately it is Eagle's decision, though. I guess it also depends on the Goodmans. Hopefully they haven't filled out adoption papers yet. Otherwise, it's gonna be a bitch sending them over to... to I guess we could take them. We have to come back here anyway. Anyway, let's go back to Horse Trail and see what he thinks. Man, I really wish these countries weren't so far apart from each other. Also, I've never adopted a child that... That might come as a surprise for you. 19-year-olds never adopted a child. What? Uh, actually, by the time this goes up, I'm 20. I think. Whatever. Um... <laughs> What are they saying? I don't know how to adopt a child. I don't know how it works. Hey, you guys! You came to see me! Hello, Eagle. You look happy. He's been bouncing off the walls ever since this morning when he heard you were coming. He isn't always this way? No. Since you left, he's been moody most of the time. Is that true, Eagle? Mrs. Goodman is very good to me, and this place is amazing. But I... I still want to travel with you. <sighs> hey, Eagle. Can I tell you something? It's about a captain of the guard who lived in a far-off land. He died in battle, fighting, to protect his kingdom. Just like my mother and father. And this man's father, he lies sick in bed at the shock of his loss. 
The captain's father has been of great help to all of us. We owe him a great deal. I was thinking, if you would spend some time with the captain's father, I believe it might help him get better. What do you think, Agel? What? So you didn't come to ask me to go with you? That's a shame. Hmm. Okay, I'll do it. I can't say no to you. Thank you so much, Agel. If this is Agel's decision, I won't stop him. But you come back anytime you want, okay? I will. Thanks for everything, Mrs. Goodman. Well, that relationship ended quickly. He only lived here for like a few minutes. Tis his thoughts. Something on your mind, Tis? You look pensive. Hmm? Oh, yeah, a bit, I guess. Thinking about Egil? He'd just gotten settled down at the Goodmans, and now he's being shipped off to a foreign land. Yeah, there's that too. That too? You mean Eleanor, don't you? Yes. The two of them had decided to take him in, and now... They had just enough time together to make it painful to part. I feel terrible. I feel the same. She must have smiled to see him off, but inside... Can't be helped, I'm afraid. We can encourage him to write her once he's settled in Caldessa. I wouldn't mind ferrying the board of the Goodmans every once in a while, either. Ooh, seconded! And aren't we forgetting someone here? We brought the boy along in a lot of good intentions and not much planning. What happens if the innkeep says no? It all hinges on him. I might have a backup plan. Let's pay the king a visit before the two of them meet. Okay. Well, yeah, he only lived here for like a few minutes. I don't know how we got settled in so quickly and how a connection formed so quickly, but hey, whatever. I guess I've never adopted a child, so how the fuck would I know? Well, back in Caldus, I guess let's go talk to the king. I... I not really sure what Tiz wants from the king about this. I guess he would have to ask if T if Igil can live in the town ahead of time, maybe. What do you have to say? King's already turning for the Oh, for fuck! Okay, now that it's daytime, let's go see the king. That about sums it up. What do you think, your majesty? A fine idea, I must say. I have been concerned about the innkeep myself. Egil, it is admirable of you to agree to follow in the innkeep's footsteps. The kingdom of Caldisla welcomes you. Uh, you see, I... I want to be a powerful soldier one day, like my mother and father before me, like Tiz. I want to be a mighty warrior with a kind heart who can protect the ones he loves. <laughs> well said, well said. Fine sentiments for a boy to have. Very well then. You shall be given access to our training hall, Lego. And I would be honored if you would accept this gift. What is it? A badge we give our young soldiers. My captain of the guard, Owen, also wore one once. This marks you as an apprentice soldier for the kingdom, Egil. I hope to see you train hard and become a first-rate soldier. Wow! Thank you! Thank you, your highness. By the way, Tiz, how is the reconstruction of Narende Village proceeding? With all your travels to save the world from peril, you must find little time to return, no? Perhaps you could put Egil here in charge of the reconstruction? Reconstruction? You would be acting on Tiz's behalf. I'll do it! Are you sure you can handle all of this at once? Helping out at the inn, training to be a soldier, and supervising the reconstruction? That's a lot to take on. No sweat for me! 
You have unlimited potential, Lego. When the time comes, you shall choose your own path. Until then, be fearless and follow your heart wherever it may take you. I will! Thank you! Oh, it's you. It's been a while. Ah, you have a young boy with you. And what's this? He wears the badge of a young soldier. That takes me back. My son treasured his above all else. You remind me of him a bit, you know? I want to be like your son Owen one day. My mother and father were guards as well. You don't say. I'm sure you'll get there one day. So you have returned, Alternus. Yes. Not long ago. I was told you have an urgent report. Can it not wait until the Council of Six convenes? No, it cannot. It appears the Fire Crystal has been awakened. The remaining Black Blades continue to fight alongside the Sword Bearers. However, no word has come from Commander Kami Izumi. It seems that morale is plummeting. Our only option left is an all-out defense of the Earth Crystal. We must cut our losses in that realm. You propose that we abandon the Black Blades? The forces of the Duchy's First Division? We have underestimated the Wind Vestal. We shall not make that mistake again. You or I. If the Earth Crystal were to be awakened, there would no longer be hope for this world, and our ideals would fade to nothingness. But the Wind Vestal has no way of traversing the highlands that surround the Duchy. Only the heavy airships held by our cadre have the propulsion necessary to make the journey. Do not be so sure. The Wind Vestal has thus far outmatched us at every turn. Summon Victor and Victoria immediately. It seems the Council of Six may have to deal with the Vestal personally. Allow me to interrupt. I'm glad the innkeep was willing to take in Egil. Egil said he looks so much like his late grandfather, it's scary. Enough about that! We must go to awaken the Earth Crystal! But we have no way of entering the Duchy of Eternia. Oh. Perhaps it's time to get out that creepy journal of yours, Ringabel. I'd hardly call it creepy. Anyway, I'll see what I can find. Hmm. There are a few notes that might apply. Earth Crystal, Grand Ship, Engine Room. Those are the words that seem to be coming up. Grand Ship? Perhaps we'll find a lead there. Well, it's a better start than any, I suppose. So you go. Oh, it is. I'm doing just fine. Don't worry about me. Okay, where's Carl? He's still in bed. Are you? I mean, I guess he was sick. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I guess he was still sick. He's just also depressed, which probably wasn't helping his sickness. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, uh, yeah. Next time we will go to Grand Chip and see if maybe there's a lead there and how exactly we can. Find a way into the Duchy of Eternia. Maybe there's a ship there we can borrow or something? I don't know. It seems Grand Ship just holds the answers to any random question we have, whether it be the baton that we need to take down Praline or where the hell to take Egil. So, yeah. <laughs> Grand Ship is, is the land of wonders. Small land of wonders that's slowly sinking and everyone's going to die. See you next time when we go to Grand Ship. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe check out some of the other series I've done. 
You can also consider subscribing, checking out my Patreon page, or joining my Discord server. There are links in the description to those, as well as other social media links like Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.